We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, we are going to continue painting this slaughter priest and we are going to paint the red armor on his boots and shoulders, as well as the helmet. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. We are going to start by doing a pretty basic red scheme, and then we are going to highlight it a little bit differently to really make the armor pop and come alive. Our first color is gonna be corn red. We're mixing it with Lamian Medium, and we're going to paint this all over all of the red areas. We want to make sure that we get a really nice opaque layer. However, it's going to take us several small thin layers to build up to that. I find that reds are one of those shades that particularly need lots and lots of little layers to make a nice solid color, especially since we're putting this over black. It's better to do lots of small layers and build up the color slowly than to put it on too thick and have it look sloppy. Something else to keep in mind is that these leg plates have a lot of spikes which make the paint go on a little bit more difficultly. It's harder to paint around them and to get it really smooth. So just be patient, make sure that you're getting all sides of the model, move your brush around and paint at different angles so that you can really get in there. And doing thin paint will also help with this because it makes it so that you have chances to go back and to get another angle on the model if you've missed getting red in some particular area. Our next color is going to be Mephiston Red. This is another color that we're mixing with Lamian Medium. We're really doing that with all of our paints and we're going to build this one up slowly. Again, we're applying it over about 80% of our corn red. We really want to layer it however in such a way that each layer we're painting progressively less of the model so that we have more of a blend between our darkest corn red and our brightest area of Mephiston red. We want to have kind of a smooth transition between them and not two very distinct areas. We're concentrating this brighter color on all the areas that would be hit if the sun were shining directly on top of the model and really making sure that we pick out those high points to be the brightest. Our next color is going to be Evil Sun Scarlet. And this color, we're not going to blend the way that we did with our other layers. We're going to apply this with kind of a largish detail brush and we're doing a really thick line highlight on the areas of the armor that we want to have be the brightest. There's a few armor plates where that's really easy to find. There's a sharp line right at the top and we want to highlight that area. And then as we move on to the helmet, we really want to make sure that we highlight this corn symbol that is sculpted right on the forehead. We want to really make sure that that corn symbol stands out and the way we're going to do that is by making sure the depths of that symbol are really dark and the outer edge all the way around is really bright. We're also going to pick out all of the edges around the eye socket and as it goes down towards the chin we want to make sure that that area is all bright as well. On some of these lower plates, like on the calf, it's a little bit harder to know exactly where to put that highlight. And we're just going to do a thin line on the top edge right next to where the armor trim begins. We're not taking that line all the way down. We're just kind of catching that top edge to give it a hint of brightness. Our next color is gonna be Carolberg Crimson. And we're also doing a line highlight with this color as well. However, it's going to be a shadow. So we are doing a small line of this color on the very darkest edges of our armor plates, in the areas where they transition between each other. I'm doing a thin line on the lower edge of the shin plates where it meets up with the armor trim. And then I'm also using this color to darken the very middle of that corn symbol on the helmet and anywhere else that I feel like a little bit of shadow could make my highlight pop even more. Our next color is gonna be Jokero Orange. And this step is where I really feel like the armor comes alive and gets some character to it and starts to pop on the model. I'm applying this almost as a line highlight. However, I'm switching to my smallest detail brush. I'm applying this only in the areas that I already painted Evil Sun Scarlet. And since I have that Evil Sun Scarlet doing my heavy lifting by exaggerating the line entirely, 
I'm applying this just in small dots that are broken up along that entire edge. I don't want to apply this flat in a solid line anywhere. This is always just going to be dabbed along that line, not in a regular pattern, but in kind of a broken line sort of way. I'm doing this because it will make the edges of the armor seem like it's dinged up a little bit while still bringing a little bit of brightness to that very edge and making it stand out without really changing the color to be orange and keeping it a really nice dark rich red. That's also a reason why Jacaro Orange is a good color for this step because it's a really bright orange and it really stands out from the Evil Sun Scarlet when we put this on top of it. Another thing that I can do with this step is anywhere where the edge of the armor is actually sculpted to have a ding in it. I want to use this as a thin line highlight to really exaggerate that ding that's already sculpted on the armor. After I finished highlighting the edge, I also want to make sure that I highlight the tip of all of the spikes that I'm going to be leading red on these leg plates. And after that, the red armor on this Slaughter Priest is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I take you through the steps of painting this banged up silver belt buckle in the mini wargaming vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my video, as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy wargaming.